if a student is curious about understanding the society that they live in, sociology would be the perfect major for them. It's about our norms, the way we live our lives, and it's also about desires that people have in terms of the world they want to live in. The state of the world that we're in right now uh, calls for sociology more than it ever has. I think there's a compelling case that we need sociological knowledge to shine a light on some of the really worrying trends that we're seeing in our own societies. Levels of inequality have just gone hyperbolic. Questions about the coherence of society, questions about rising inequality, questions about uh, who we are when we talk about nations. These are at the heart of the kinds of issues that are confronting the Western world and the global north let alone when you expand and, and think about other parts of the world. These problems are very complex and probably there is also not just one answer to them uh, that you can answer with a set of analytic tools. It requires a much broader and more flexible perhaps approach to how you can understand these, these linkages or these connections between very different developments in our society. Well, it depends on who you ask. I mean, I have a very simple, very direct understanding of what sociology is inherently about. And for me, it's about the connection between human experiences, day-to-day -day practices, and larger processes of social change. Sociology is not so much defined by uh, a certain formalism in terms of its language or a certain set of uh, theories or issues. We'll look behind apparent phenomena to, to try to look at the underlying causes and the underlying mechanisms. Sociology is about studying social life, basically. Um, and we don't need to say social before life. It's the study of life, the way we come together, the way we organize in institutions as human beings, as social beings. Maybe when I started studying uh, the discipline, back in the 1970s, 1980s, you, you, there would be a schism between those that looked at social structure and those that looked at small scale social process. Now, I think most really good sociologists would regard themselves as practicing what we call mixed methods. I think the art of sociology is the deep exploration of micro and macro relationships linking human experiences to larger structural processes. And it's the linking work where sociologists really come into their own. The other thing about sociology that strikes me as being important for anyone thinking about studying it is the sheer range. Um, we look at global processes and we look at very small scale processes and all of that comes under the remit of sociology. So it's a hugely varied discipline as well. There's a systematism, a robustness to the way in which we approach um, social issues from a social science perspective. Very often when we um, are evaluating student dissertations, one of the kind of shorthand criticisms we'll make is that this is journalistic. Uh, and what that tends to mean is, is that you haven't really pursued this information in as rigorous a way as we would want you to. A journalist, for instance, would perhaps come in with a much more impressionistic, uh, subjective sense of, well, I will use my journalistic nous to think about a few individuals that I think will be able to help me understand this issue. What you're doing is reporting on what someone's told you on the bus or in the bar. You haven't actually tried to sample the population in any way. You haven't conducted interviews which are properly structured uh, and which enable you to, 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 to be able to say that this is objective knowledge. One of the reasons why I became more interested in, 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 in quantitative social science was that um, things that I felt you really wanted to be armed with, with sort of representative and therefore generalizable data and also, you know, the language of, 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 of quantitative um, social science of statistics is also one that allows you to parlay with um, many other areas of society that rely upon that language. I don't think there is 
such a thing as an objective view of society. I think we all come in to our studies with some kind of idea as to what's equitable, um, who's being advantaged, who's being disadvantaged. Uh, and I think, again, that is the art of sociology, is to work with quite a passionate political perspective and then to see how it plays out on the ground or in policy.